Hi, it's Ears and Ears. Um, thanks for sending your questions for our Saturday Night Online Ask Anything chat. We can't wait to answer them. And special thank you to Romeo for having us. All right, you go first. Okay. <clears throat> Question one. It's Josh from Sully Hill. Thanks. Hi. What was your immediate reaction when you found out King was number one in the UK? We... I cried. Disbelief. I, uh, shed a, I shed actual tears. Yeah, that's true. Ollie I was very cry. emotional. All happy, right. I was happy. Millicent from Sheffield. Hey. What are your bad habits? Wow, 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 wow. Um, I bite my nails. I, what do I do? I stress a lot. I stress a lot. I grind my teeth in my sleep as well. <laughs> uh, bad habits. I don't know. Got a lot. You're forgetful. I'm not that forgetful. No, I know. You're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> You're lazy. <laughs> Thanks. Pull your socks up. That's not a habit. No, it's true. Kendra from Dayton. If you had to switch places with a bandmate for a day, who would it be and why? Ooh. Tough one. Well, like one of us. Yeah, I'd swap places with Mikey because he's he's like Jerry from Seinfeld. He just everything just goes well for him. <laughs> it's a smooth ride through life. <laughs> yeah. I'd swap places with Mikey as well. Yeah. I think you've got the best life. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'd like to drum for a for a few gigs. Oh yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mikey. Uh, <laughs> Pat from Thailand. If you had to dye your hair a crazy colour, what would you choose? I would dye my hair platinum blonde. Ooh, I might go for uh, white, whitish pink. Ooh, that's a good one. I'd go blue. Navy blue. <laughs> Navy blue? Just see what happens. Wow, okay. Daniela from Slovakia says, what's your favourite song off of Communion? My favourite song off Communion is probably... Memo? Really? It changes. You but say something moment, different memo, every time. I do say something different every time. Uh, I also say something different every time. Probably real or maybe memo. I might go the new one, gold. Really? Because it's fresh. Fresh. It's fresh, it's true. No one's heard it. Morgan from Brussels says, who designed your single covers? They look amazing. Uh, Thanks, Morgan. It wasn't us. Uh, it wasn't a guy, us. A guy yeah, called John Shea in New York. Check them out. C H A E. Uh, Louis from Geneva uh, asking, asking, <laughs> what is each of your favourite food? Um, my favourite food is probably like mid, like Lebanese food, like hummus and falafel, that kind of food. Is I that think, Lebanese? Yeah, yeah. I think I'd go for pasta. Yeah, Italian for me. Ingrid from Detroit. Cool. When did you know that you wanted to play music for a living? Oh, wow. Um, I guess never really thought about it as that. I just played, made music since I was a child. and then, But, but then about a year and a half ago when we got signed to Polydor, I thought we could make music for a living. So maybe that does help. My dad's a music teacher, so it was always embedded in me. Yeah, I, I al I've always wanted to do it ever since I could, like, from about 10 years old, I was, like, playing piano. So, kind of since then. <laughs> Susan from Brooklyn says, is it true that Ollie doesn't like a window seat and why? <laughs> Actually, what? I always How does take Susan know that? Yeah, I, you always lend me your window seat and I love a window I'll seat. I'll tell you, Susan, why, Susan. It's because I pee a lot yeah. <laughs> and I need true. to get out. To pee. He does have a weak bladder. Got yeah. a very small bladder. <laughs> Katie from Bournemouth. Which three artists, dead or alive, would you want to collaborate with the most? I'm going to say Jeff Buckley, Beyonce, and Little Dragon. Oh, wow. I'm going to say Marvin Gaye, Good Caribou. One. Stevie Wonder. Marvin Gaye, Caribou, and Smashing Pumpkins. Ooh, I'd go Flying Lotus, Marilyn Manson, <laughs> Metallica. <laughs> Christy from Clearwater says, well, what did she say? What artists would you say inspired the band's initial sound? Jeff Buckley, Beyonce, and Little Dragon. <laughs> yeah, and Radiohead. Yeah. <laughs> 
Romy from Amsterdam says, what is it like going on tour with Sam Smith? It was fun. Sam's a very nice chap. Funny guy, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's down to earth, isn't he? It's very warm. His band are really lovely as well. Oh yeah, very yeah. talented, nice band. Yeah. And um, Sam's fans are very intense. They love Sam, so that was nice to see. Is it you? Oh, it's me. How many more questions are there? <laughs> oh, we're Quite halfway. Okay, Jasmine, Jasmine from Milwaukee. What emoji would you use to describe each other? Oh God. Uh. I'd use Mikey. Mikey would be that one. Oh yeah, <laughs> like. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, You'd be the. Like the like straight line face. <laughs> 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 Ollie would be the. So one with like the angel ring, maybe. <sighs> Cheesy smile. Aww. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Jacob from Toronto says, "Whose feedback on the new album do you value most?" Mine. <laughs> <laughs> That's, leave it That's the one I value least. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere in the no middle. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob from Toronto. Oh no, is that one you just said? Hey, Jacob. Shelley from Cleveland. Cleveland rocks. What was your first gig together as a band? Well, it was actually on a boat that sold pancakes in Norfolk. Norfolk. Wells next to the, the sea. sea. Yeah. No. It wasn't very good, was it? There was a power shortage and the power cut out during one of the songs. I've got a video of it still on my laptop. Let us never show that again. That's no, good. Kelly from Birmingham say, asks, what do you guys like to do when you're not making music or on tour? Well, we know what you uh, like to do. What? Video games. I do like to play video Mikey. games. Mikey's just finished Bloodborne. That's true, I did finish Bloodborne last night. I like to watch a lot of box sets, like currently I'm watching House of Cards. I'm doing a binge watch of the last season of House of Cards. But you can do that on tour. Yeah, yeah. But I, no, no, Netflix. Oh, really? Doesn't yeah. Work. I try and just see my friends because I never get to see them. I don't have friends, so it's not a problem. I don't really have any friends either. <laughs> um, Paul from San Francisco says, what is your favorite thing about your fans? Oh. Th they're on. very creative. And they're very They've got uh, good creative supportive, skills I and guess. supportive. That's what they make some fans, but they're really, really nice. They um they make us presents, and um, there's some very some involved, very on it, and they yeah, know they so many things that I've forgotten about. They find stuff out that we don't even know. <laughs> yeah, like, like you liking going. Windows, not liking Windows. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't know until Nuts. I was told. <laughs> Jossie from Denver, describe communion in three words. Ooh. That is the hardest question. Emotional. Mm. Textured. Oh, they're all much better words than I was thinking. Think of one. Think of a word. Yeah. <laughs> Reflective. No. Yeah. No, it's quite epic. Epic. What's a word for epic? Epic is a word yeah. for epic. Epic is a word, but there's a better word. Oh, well, this is you. Uh, Miranda from West Orange. What is the best advice you have received? Mm, the best advice I've received is don't let anything define you enjoy it while you're doing it that's a good piece of advice I got recently yeah. treat people nicely on the way up because on the way down <laughs> oh, it's bad <laughs> wow okay Quinn from Leesport says what are you totally obsessed with at the moment wow oh god what am I totally obsessed with at the moment musically I guess he means ah oh. Actually, at the moment, I'm obsessed with, with running. I can't go two days without going for a run. It makes me feel much better. I'm quite obsessed with um, Shamir, an artist called Shamir. He's good. Mm. I'm with Jamie XX at the moment. Just got his new album. It's hot. Grace from Edmonton. Do you think you will still keep playing music when you're in your 50s? I think, yeah, yeah we'll be playing yeah. music. It might be terrible. Yeah. yeah. It might not. It might be better. <laughs> exactly. More experience to, to draw from. Tasha from London. When will your next tour be? Well, Tasha, our next tour <laughs> in the UK is in October. Um, yeah. That is our next tour, isn't it? Well, our next UK tour. Yeah. October. Unless she fancies going to America. 
Yeah. In which case, it's September. September. <laughs> Becca from Atlanta says, looking at your past, what advice would you give yourself five years ago? Oh, wow. Wow, that is a <clears throat> Oh, I, I would have told myself to wear earplugs at live gigs. Yeah, Mikey had a bout of tinnitus. Don't tell everyone that, but yes. <laughs> mm. You can edit that bit out. Um, what advice would you give yourself? Mm, I tell myself not to worry as much what other people think about me. Yeah. So it don't matter. Same. Not don't stress as much. Don't stress. Uh, oh, sorry, Hannah from Pensacola. I don't know how to say that. Pensacola. What is the funniest thing that's ever happened to you guys on stage? Oh, wow. Funniest thing. Uh, maybe the Nando's thing or Oh yeah. The uh or when we had a power cut maybe and Or when the guy started dancing. Oh yeah, we had a, sta a guy come on stage and start dancing. We had a power cut once and Dylan had to do like a 10 minute drum solo. That was sort of traumatic and funny. St Stacy, Stacy from Tel Aviv says, "What makes you th what makes you happiest in life?" What a good sex life. Wow. Um, good food. <laughs> good food. Yeah. Okay. My my dog makes me really happy. Dylan from Los Angeles, do you, what do you do to after a performance to relax? Do you relax or go out and party? I should say. Uh, it depends, really. We generally relax, but occasionally, if we're at like a festival like here, and there's some other acts we want to see, then we try and go out and party. Lily from Toronto, what or who inspired the song King? Um, it was sort of inspired by a couple of different exes of mine, and then I melded it all into one, one, giant, X. one giant monster X that I wanted to kill. Wow, <laughs> wow, <laughs> raw. <laughs> um, Amun from Bristol says, how does it feel knowing that there is someone out there whose tough day has been made bearable by your music? That's nice. Oh, that's the loveliest thing that ever. Is, it feels, feels very nice. feels really warm inside. Yeah. Amun. Thank you. Thanks again for submitting your questions for us. <laughs> Oh, we should just say this yeah, thing. All oh, right. 